There it is. Lighting plan is fully installed. And there's the F7 sitting there on the track. So, what you are seeing right now is the red light is on. The cab lights are on. You can see under there the truck lights are on. The two headlights, one of them is flashing Mars light. That is on. The other headlight is on. So now, let's go ahead over here. Move like this. The red light is on because it stopped. Now it's supposed to be for emergency stop. I haven't really programmed that in. I just have it set so it comes on and stop. Let's see what happens when we roll. Red light goes off. Mars light is on. Stop. The red light comes back on. Okay. Oops, that's not the right one. Let's try this one. There we go. Alright, now. We're doing this in night vision so we can test a few things. What are we testing? Well, we want to see how bright the lights really are, which we can't see with the eye. That Mars light looks good. Let's get him down the track ways and see if we can get a kind of a head on view of it. Okay, it's going to come this way. See that flashing Mars light? Ooh. That's nice. Now, right now I've got the infrared spotlight on, and I think that infrared spotlight is a little too bright. But. I'm going to turn it off in a second here and we're going to look at it without the spotlight. But I want to show you something. Now, I usually don't show this, but there's no point in that. We don't need to keep a seat. Everything's secret. Let's see me in on old Ferdinand over here. There's Ferdinand. What do you think of Ferdinand in infrared? Pretty cool looking. Mm -hmm. See the panel lining? See how you can make up the doors and stuff? Pretty good. Let's take a look at our F45 right here. See his panel lining? Let's get him at an angle. You can definitely see his reflectors. Now, this is a way where you can check to see, did you panel line all the stuff you should have? And if you did, you'll see something like this. Now, in regular light, you know, you don't see that panel lining does not stand out all that much. But here it does. Let's take a look. There's our blood angel. Looking nice. How about this brass RSD-15? Look at that. Look at all the things we can see that we can't see with a regular eye and regular light. We can see all kinds of cool stuff here. And then back there, we've got our GP-9. Okay, so let's zoom in on him a little bit. Now next to him is that Genesis, and see, no paneling. Looks plain. There's Aria. Look at his reflectors. That's why I like reflectors. And you can look, look at his number. You can see his number in night vision. But that's cool. All these things are cool. Let's turn this spotlight off and have another look at the F7 lights. 
All right, here he is with no no spotlight. Here's the thing. You, I had to turn on a light a little bit far away because the LEDs are so bright that the camera cannot focus on the locomotive without the spotlight. So what we can see here, you can see this guy. This guy is the regular headlight. This is the Mars light you can see flashing. This is the stoplight. You can't even see it, but next to the stoplight is a tiny surface mount cab light. When the engine is moving, the red light will go out and the cab light will stay on. Okay, here is the blue light on the decoder. Now you can, you can get a better idea of why I wanted that blue light on the back. Unfortunately, when I hooked up all the lights, I figured out that the blue light, the 5mm LED, did not play nice with the surface mounts and would never get bright enough. So, we put another surface mount light back here. And that is the rear that will illuminate the inside of the cab. I wanted that blue light, couldn't get it. And we got to get this project wrapped up. Okay, what other things can we see in night vision? I'm going to show you some stuff we can see. What we can see is, roughly, that it's harder to see in daylight. We can see how much of the track is illuminated. How far out our illumination goes. It goes pretty far. One of the nice things about this, this is going to help me aim lights. Because right now, these lights, this one is not pointed the direction it should be. Because it should be straight up. It's going to be down here. It's going to be pointing straight out. This one's going to be above it. Those are the lights and notes. Guess what? They're on disconnects, which I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to uh, put the lights on and we're going to look at it. The stoplight. The stoplight turned out to be pretty cool. Now, the stoplight is for emergency stop, and it's not on a thing. I don't think I can turn it on and off because I didn't program that. But um, it can be programmed so that it's not on. Like right now we're at stop, so the red light is on. Let's go ahead down and see if we can see the truck lights. Yes, we can. Just barely. But they're there. There's one. And there's one. And we can see that they're on. They actually turned out kind of cool. There's a little greenish light underneath, which I love. It gives us, this is a model effect. No, it's not a prototype thing. But if we put in white lights here, it's not going to match the color palette. And I don't like that because then you're seeing a cool color pop out around warm colors. And that's one thing I don't like to see. I like to see the color palette stay together. It ties it all together. Uh, they aren't hard to replace though. They could be replaced with white lights pretty easy because they are they are um, set now on little solder pads and they can be just taken out. When I smoked that one that had a short in it ran over here, I just took them out and I made a new one and put it back in. It was that easy. So that's an easy change to make. Alright, so now that we have seen What's going on in night vision? Look at the rear light. It's a flat SMD. Right there. It's a flat SMD. And it's going to shine. It shines kind of straight up and out. Somewhat omnidirectional. Well, it, it shines as it, kind of like a little bit of a bubble. And what it'll do is it'll reflect off the interior of the cab and then we should see the portholes will look like there's a light on back in there somewhere. But you look in the porthole, you won't be able to see it because it's flat. So that's cool. That's a good feature. Okay, so now, whoa. See, those lights are bright enough to uh, cause the focus to go out. All right, let's put on some regular lights and see what we did.
Okay, here it is. Still on. So you can see now. We're going to zoom in and stuff. That is what, what we did. Let's go ahead and kill the lights on the locomotive. We'll move them over here. Put them right there now. Let's zoom in and see what did we do. How do we do this? Let's go start with let's start with the back. Come on, give me a focus. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look here. Here's our three resistors. They go for the two truck lights and the interior light. That's the interior light. Okay. These wires here that are twisted go to this pad that we made. Three, three rows. Because the red is the common in all these. So the red's in the middle. And then this black wire is a function. And then over here, there's another function, which is these purple and gray. And they go to the to the stoplight is on its own function. Oops, you didn't see that. Okay. This this is the pad with the three. And that goes to the red stoplight. Okay, and then also two wires come off of here and they go to this little pad here that has the two truck lights and the cab light again. So, so we duplicated. What we did back here, we did up front. Now here is the front light, which happens to be on this side. And I'm going to take some goop and I'm going to stick that right down here because I got, remember I left room on our super awesome ultra platform. And it's heat shrink, but I'm not going to shrink it. Same with this heat shrink over here. None of the heat shrinks I'm going to shrink. I'm just going to leave them. You don't need to shrink them all the time. Okay, now let's take a look over here at the front. Here are the two headlights. There is a four row PC board. One for, basically we use the front and rear headlights to, to, to separate the two actual headlights. Since there's no rear light on this, that's how we're doing it. They are on disconnects where I have shaved off the connectors so they're easy to pull out. And we used our little lathe and we turned these down so that they will fit inside the nose behind the lens. So that'll be a pretty neat feature. And as you can see, I use liquid electrical tape on them. Very slick. And they can be just pulled out. Simple. You want to change them to a different color? Pull them out. You're going to have to use a lathe and turn them down, turn down your new LEDs so that they fit. But that's super easy. Anybody can do that. And then polish them the way we did. Polished them with uh, 600, then 1,000 wet sandpaper. Then we used a microfiber cloth with plastic, Meguiar's plastic polish. And then we used a leather shoelace. And we got crystal clear glass. Even better than the way they come. And that is our work. We are done with lighting. So now we can... Go ahead and get ready for sound. So sweet, this thing is operational. Lights are done. We are ready to move into sound. 